how exactly does an aquaponic system work? Well, if you believe everything you read on the internet and research in books, magazines, and other resources, you might think it's simply a nitrogen cycle and bacteria that are making this system work, effectively converting ammonia to nitrite and then nitrite to nitrate, where the plants can then effectively remove that nitrate from the water before it's then pumped back to the fish. That might be a, a complete enough definition for some, but it definitely doesn't define the process well enough for myself. NorCal Aquaponics prides itself in looking at aquaponics as a more holistic, symbiotic relationship between much more than just bacteria in the water. Yes, it's true the nitrogen cycle forms the base of the foundation that so much of the water biology is dependent on. However, stopping simply at the nitrogen cycle is costing us a lot of opportunities in the system that we can learn nurture, grow, and create a system that's far more reliable, diverse, and far less susceptible to, to outbreaks of disease, pests, fungus, and other challenges that we often see in traditional aquaponic systems. Also, by developing a deeper understanding of the water food web, as I call it, based on the work that I've done with Dr. Elaine Ingham at the Rodale Institute, and building on the work that she's done for many years with the soil food web, I've learned that the water food web that's in a healthy aquaponic system can be nurtured to contain so much more than just a bacterial cycle. For example, by colonizing beneficial fungi in the water, aerobic fungal organisms, you're actually colonizing organisms in the water that can defend and fight off root disease, root fungus, and different outbreaks that can cause problems in the traditional aquaponic system. Additionally, the fungi in the system will eat and feed on whatever food sources they see in the water profile. They eat far more than they need at any given time, and they store some for later for times when they don't have available food sources. This creates an inherent stability in diverse aquaponic water. So not only is it depending on the nitrogen cycle, but if anything happens to break that cycle or change the amount of input, or some kind of scenario happens where too much water is added to break the balance or change the balance or maybe someone overfeeds or, or a pipe plugs up, the increased diversity in the system water acts as a buffer protecting not just the biology but the available nutrients for the plants can be stored and slowly reduced over time. In fact, once a well cared for permaculture approach to aquaponics is understood, those systems can be left alone for weeks at a time without requiring any additional inputs of food or care. It's that diverse relationship between organisms in the water, bacteria, fungi, microbes, worms, water fleas, algae, flagellates, ciliates, amoeba, protozoa, and the interconnections between these um, organisms that creates the dynamic stable relationship. If some of these organisms get out of balance or in trouble or are damaged, other organisms will come in to take its place. This is more what we would refer to as a multi-trophic approach to aquaponics, meaning that many kingdoms of life are represented in the water profile. What we are trying to do is create a living food web in the water. And in this case, I refer to it as the water food web. To learn more about the water food web and the work that we've been doing over the years in aquaponics, check out our additional resources.